Hey guys, I'm Ryan. I'm currently a junior at Bloomsburg University, and today I'm going to be talking all about living in a residence life hall and my experience. Alright, so my first year as an incoming Husky, I lived in Columbia Hall. I lived on the third floor, and I absolutely loved it. To this day, me and my roommate from my first year talk about it all the time. Living in a residence hall your first year is honestly one of the best experiences you can have. You gain so much from living in the residence life hall that you wouldn't even expect your first year. So first I'm going to show you guys the average room that you will receive. So here's a video from my freshman year and how me and my roommate have created our room. Every room will come with two wardrobes, two desks, and two beds, one for each roommate. Bloomsburg also supplies a micro fridge, so every room comes with a microwave and a refrigerator. And there also is a spot to plug in a cable cord, so you are more than welcome to bring a TV your first year. So here you can see that it is really awesome. We made ours really homey. We love decorating ours and how great it is. Here's so I'm going to talk about finding a roommate. So there are a few different ways to find a roommate at Bloomsburg. One, you can do randomized, where you go on the housing application and you fill out a little questionnaire about yourself and then they match you up with someone who they think is most compatible with you. So you'll fill out questions like, are you a messy person? Do you like to stay up late? What are your hobbies? What are you interested in? All sorts of things like that and they'll match you up with somebody. Or you can choose your roommate. So if you happen to know somebody who's also going to the school, you can pick to live with them. Maybe someone from your high school is also going there, maybe a family friend. Or another option is we actually have a Facebook page for every single graduating class. So you guys can go ahead on there and what you do is you post a little blurb about yourself. You'll throw in some pictures, you talk about where you're from, what you're interested in, um, what major you're going to study, all sorts of things like that. And then other people can comment on it and you can look through and see other people. And usually you'll leave some of your social medias, maybe your phone number, and then you kind of get to talking to other people. And that is how I met my roommate. Um, I met her on Facebook and it was the best decision I made out of my whole entire college career. She is my best friend now and we have lived together every single year since and we are living together this year too and plan to next year for our final year. So I absolutely got so lucky with the roommates and I couldn't have a better story. <laughs> I couldn't ask for a better roommate. Living on campus comes so many pros. Um, the first one is you are so close to all of your classes. So if you do have an 8 a.m. and you're not really a morning person, you are close enough to some of your classes where you could be rolling out of bed at 7.50 and make it to class on time. So that is a huge pro. Another pro is you are fully involved in the community. So you are surrounded by students, you're living next to students, and that's really nice because often that's how you make most of your friends, is by the people you live with and the people you associate with. So when you're living there, you're with other students every single day, all day long. That is how I met my friends. I was lucky enough to meet my neighbors on both sides of me are my best friends now and I'm currently living with all of them this year. Another pro of living on campus is that you also will have a meal planned with it. So coming from high school this is a big transition. There are a lot of things that are going to change in your life that you kind of have to adapt to, get used to, a new routine. So it's kind of nice because living on campus kind of slows you into that. So although you have so much responsibility because you are living on your own now, you're responsible for doing your work, scheduling yourself, getting yourself up on time, at least you don't have to worry about actually cooking for yourself because you'll have a meal plan. So you will now have to go somewhere to get your food. So that's also a, definitely a huge plus about living on campus because it kind of slows you in to living on your own and taking care of yourself because you still have to manage your time to get dinner and lunch and breakfast, but you don't have to make it for yourself yet. So that's definitely baby steps in getting there. Biggest advice for living on campus would be to decorate your room in whatever way is gonna make you feel homey. This is not only your new bedroom, but it is your kitchen, it is your living room, it is your playroom, your family room, your den, whatever you call it. This one bedroom is now everything for you. It's your new home. So you want to decorate it in whatever way makes you guys feel comfortable. As you saw from my video, me and my roommate hung pictures everywhere, we put bright colors everywhere, just to make it feel super, super homey. So that way when you walk in, you're not just seeing a room with cement walls. You're seeing a home, something that you love. My sophomore year, I also lived in Salt Hall, which is also an awesome place to live on campus. Salt houses approximately 400 of our students currently. It is above the bookstore and the Chick-fil-A. So that's really cool. You get to live above Chick-fil-A, Qdoba, and the bookstore. It's awesome. It is kind of like an apartment style. So you can live in a single, a double, a triple, or a quad. 
in each option you get your own bedroom. So I lived in a quad, so I lived with three other girls. We each had our own bedrooms, and then we had two bathrooms. So I only had to share my bathroom with one other girl, which is super awesome. Another really cool thing is that the sink is actually outside of the bathroom area. So one of your roommates can be showering or using the toilet while you're brushing your hair or brushing your teeth or using the sink, which is a really, really awesome plus. It comes with a big common room and a full-size refrigerator, which is really cool, and also comes with like a little mini coffee table. It is definitely enough room. We put a whole entire futon in there, so I definitely recommend living in Salt. And it was really nice being on campus just for another year because you're so close to all of your classes, and once again, you have a meal plan again. You don't have to worry about cooking for yourself. And this is what my room in Salt looked like. wonderful experiences with it and me and my roommate talk about sharing a room to this day and how many funny memories we had and how great it was. So if you guys do get the opportunity, I definitely recommend doing it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Bye guys, thank you!